beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. He shall put his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. So in the next few minutes that we have, I want you to sit back and watch the wonder walking God the one who will not leave you the way you came the one who in one moment one moment one moment can turn the captivity of years this is not just a preacher's talk the God we serve is a mighty God when you do your own part then you step back And then he will show you that he's the mighty one. What is this that ailed thee? Lord, years of pain. A medical report that will not bow to your name. See, the woman with the alabaster box was not just breaking. She did not just break a box of spikenard, a year's wages. No, she took all her shame and put it in that alabaster box. She took all her frustrations. She did not just break the jar with perfume. She carried her everything like you have brought it before the Lord. And when he received it, everything that represented shame and reproach in her life rolled away. We're going to pray. But the few minutes that we have, especially for the women and by extension all of us and for those following online honestly the power of God is real when the presence of God shows up he shows up with his power there is no president that comes alone even if he wants to visit you there is no governor that comes alone any even senior executives they move with a convoy those convoys have all kinds of provisions they may have a medical team working with them they have all kinds of systems of correspondences. They have all kinds of things. Will God really come and come alone? Oh no. He comes with his lifting. He comes with open doors. He comes with keys. He comes with a bomb that is in Gilead. That's why I told you just calling those things one by one. There are times, imagine that you want to call the commissioner for this or the minister for this or this and that. You want to call the chief security officer. You can call them all, but look at that burden. Just call the president. When you call the president or you call the topmost executive in the capacity of his office, all the rest are mandated to follow him. 
they will follow him and they will come together is that true yes if the president or any senior government executive or company executive is coming in the capacity of their office they would come with the full entourage and he is here with the angels here with his spirit here with his power to reach and to bless now whilst you're seated in one minute I like you to just pray and say father turn my life around change my destiny please open your mouth in one minute begin to mention the specific things Some of you are praying for your children. Some of you is a health issue. Financial issues. Legal issues. Let's pray. You are the covenant keeping God. Keep praying. Ah. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You are you. Covenant keeping God. Yes, he still wipes tears. The covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Yahweh. The covenant keeping God. Yahweh. For the last time now. You. The covenant keeping God Yahweh The covenant keeping God Job 42 verse 10 the Bible talks about a man called Job whose wife at a point told him look I love you but with the reality of what you've gone through please curse God and die Job 42 verse 10 and the Lord turned the captivity of Joshua Selman when he prayed and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before let's see how he did it next verse 11 then came there unto him all his brethren the ones who left him home. a grace came on job and began to call them back and all his sisters and all they that had been his acquaintances before and the bible says he did eat bread with them in the house verse 12 and they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him and the Bible says every man also gave him a piece of money every man help that lady I'm seeing oil coming on her head this one placing her hand on her face in the name of Jesus that captivity over your life is rolled away now you came to church the Bible says I was glad when they said unto me everything that is not the planting of God I join my faith with the pastor the angel over this house I declare in the name of Jesus it leaves your destiny now it leaves your destiny now every planting activities of witchcraft wizardry upon your destiny bringing you shame and reproach in the name of Jesus may the power of God come upon you I command that devil to leave you now 
Labaratosiata. I'm praying for people in the name of Jesus. Everyone here under any kind of chain here at this women conference, any chain that has held you, held your children, held your promotion, held everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus. Break, break, lift your voice and begin to pray. I break that chain over my destiny. I break that chain over my children. I break that chain over my career by the presence of God. Shalabagada brande kete paruta siata. Shalakete paretu siata la rahasi. Alleluia. We don't have all the time and I must respect the time given but I'm seeing a woman here you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb I want you to rejoice because this is there is a big miracle there is a big miracle there is a big miracle a big miracle that I'm seeing happening you see before you believe a man find out about him don't just believe for nothing there is a name oh, that is above all names. I'm seeing oil being poured on that lady lifting her hand at the back. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord is saying, captivity is over for you. Over for you in the name of Jesus. Over for you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing something happening in an office. This is a discussion happening on how to remove someone that is already this is what I'm seeing like a discussion happening to remove like relocate the person maybe to another part of this nation from Lagos and this is wickedness I stand by the God of heaven anyone who is laughing with you in the open but going behind you to conspire for your downfall in the name of Jesus by this conference we clear them out of the way hallelujah The Bible says, withhold not good from him that it is due when it is within your power. I'm sensing in my spirit and the Lord is saying I should pray. There are people, there are things that are supposed to have entered your hand. For some of you, maybe financial resources. You played your part, but individuals and institutions have refused to release what must come. In the name of Jesus, help them please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Whoever is holding what must enter your hand, I prophesy to you, overturn, 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 till it enters your hand. Overturn, 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 till it enters your hand. Overturn, 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 till it enters your hand. Help this woman. I'm seeing some. Help that woman. This will not be before the end of June. I'm seeing a major breakthrough. This woman under the anointing. I don't know you, ma, but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Before the end of June, you will never forget this women's conference. Again, I'm saying it. Whoever is holding what should enter your hand, that God has already commanded whether it's a job, whether it's your finances, whether it's an opportunity, I stand by the rod of the prophetic. In the name that is above all names, I command it to enter your hand. Please help them. Shalika paroto subakata. Embrekete skele barutosia. Allah is turning things around. Yeah, Allah is turning things around. Yeah, Allah turning things around for my good. One more time. Allah says.
presence of God. I want to pray for you. There was a grace that came upon the ark of Noah. And without him calling the animals, every one of them found their way to the ark. God wants to take away this yoke of looking for things, going around. There is a grace that can come on a man. Believe me, the same grace that made the animals obedient. They left wherever they were. Imagine that Noah went to look for them one by one. I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus with the grace of God upon our father here and the grace of God upon our father Baba Deboe in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare whatever must enter your life wherever it is right now across this nation across Africa we call it by prophecy we call it help them please we call it by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. I hope you are not tired. Listen, please. We are going to cause delay. Listen. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of other people finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten would have been honored. Are we together now? The Bible says they were all virgins. But the delay of the bridegroom the unit of destiny is time. I want to pray for someone. The delay of the bridegroom. Haratu Ziata. Listen. One man, Joseph, pleaded with him after solving his problem. He said, please, when you go to the king, don't delay me here talk to the king one man's forgetfulness added two years to another man's life i pray for you everything that has made you forgotten i stand by the god of heaven and i open the book of remembrance in the name of jesus christ let the book of remembrance be open be open be open be open be open be open That night could not Hazar or sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles when they opened it he saw where Mordecai had saved his life and was not rewarded I don't know who you have helped some of you have spent your life raising people some of you you raise people more than you raise your own children some of them are lifted today and there is a spirit that has turned their face from you I stand by the God of heaven and I declare whoever you have helped to rise I compel them to remember you for good <laughs> I remember talking to a dear man of God who is in politics and one of the few times that I saw an elderly person cry like a baby and he said apostle let me tell you I have helped many people in this nation I was part of their rising I stood by them in truth I helped them sincerely when it was time for lifting as they were recommending me, someone will show up from nowhere who has no history of participating in that pain. Before your enemies get to your helpers, in the name of Jesus, may a good voice reach them. I know a businessman these are true stories and this man helped build and set up a lot of great things and one time they were about to recommend him for something and then here comes these evil people coming again and this is how they push this man there are people here who have spent their lives helping people you are the one who got people born again you are the one who even led them to church when any good thing is about to happen, God uses you to lift people. But when the reward should come, there is a spirit that stands blocking you from that door. Every door that stands before you. Every door that stands before you, that you will not eat the fruit of your labor. I pray by extension to every mother here. Please listen. Listen. While we were at the rotunda, just having some time before we come, our, our dear mother here asked me a question. 
and said why is it that many of the youths and the young people are frustrated and I thought closely as we're walking down this place and I said there is a spirit that has been released in Africa that wants parents to not eat the fruit of their labor please listen it's a wicked and evil spirit a labor and raise children and all of a sudden you will see a child excelling within a state within a nation and the mother is there mama is there laboring she sold firewood to send him to school he's building houses for people and raising the children of others and blessing the parents of others the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work the Bible says that same hand will complete let me pray for every parent here that in the name of Jesus the spirit of rebellion that the devil will want to put on your children to make sure they either don't listen to you or don't end up blessing you I scatter that operation of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ I know this is a women conference but please permit me to pray for our young people and bless them it is a cost to sit down and be waiting for your parents to die so that your life will find meaning it's a dangerous and evil spirit don't feel offended this is a conference it's our mothers that put this together to bless the body why will you sit down and be waiting you are anticipating let my father die let my mother die so that I can fight over some property it is a joy of every parent to see their children rise in their lifetime and excel father whatever is making our young people to mark time at the same level for many years I stand by the God of heaven and here in this church every young person hear me in the name that is above all names by prophecy I push you into your destiny I push you into your destiny a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance hallelujah praise the name of the Lord one more prayer point and then we we'll pray over this request God is a God of portions that means it is not God's desire for you to be the one serving people forever a day should come listen a day should come understand what I'm saying please this is with respect to establishment a day should come when God should also carve your own niche and honor you so that you can not start your own life this was the mistake Laban refused to allow Jacob go because God is a God of portions when you serve for a while then he settles you and now you build your own tent yourself then raise others too then they will raise others too that's how you perpetuate blessings that's why blessings are not perpetuated in Africa because people are not raised Laban refused to allow Jacob to be established he conjured through divination to find out that there was something on Jacob that was responsible for his blessings there's nothing wrong with people paying you or blessing you but there are some of you here you are the only one out of 12 people who is doing well there is still trouble though. you are still not free are we together now no matter how much you are making if you are only one out of 12 people the truth is that you are going to go through stress that may kill you young is that true do you agree with me so it's not enough to pray that God lift me you must pray God lift those who are around me too this is one of the cure for jealousy bitterness envy if all the brothers of Joseph had dreams too all of them would be partners in progress but because only one person had a dream the brother said we'll kill you it's an unpleasant discussion and I apologize but there are some of us here as you are standing the war between you and family members extended relatives simply because of what God is doing in your life you can't have peace to enjoy what God gave you ah 
why you marry a rich man and you are forgetting us and you are saying what is all this Africa makes you feel guilty for being responsible they make you feel guilty for doing well it's not enough to pray that you excel you must pray that all who are around he said as for me and my house and my house we will serve the Lord me and my house we will prosper me and my house we will rise me and my house we will not be the ones begging people I know you are standing for a while I apologize I want to rebuke a spirit here there are families here nobody has ever been a leader everybody remains a servant from father to mother to younger ones the only place you find in life I'm not just talking of serving like kingdom service I'm talking of slavery out of ten children eight children seven children nobody lifts up his head because there are horns Zechariah 1 18 these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel. So that no man doth lift his head in the name of Jesus. If there is any covenant tying any family down, that the only way you will eat is by being slaves. I stand by the grace of God here at this service. And in the name of Jesus, we declare those ordinances are broken forever. Those ordinances are broken forever. Those ordinances are broken forever. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted in noonday. Armed robbers want to steal a car. They wait till they, you pack your own. Just when you pack it here, they come. They want to arrest people for something. They wait until your child just shows up. Then they carry him. And, it is, you will be too late for tragedy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever trouble will show up, it's minus you. Minus your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Job said he will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. Anybody saying, let's see what will become of them. They will see forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? We're going to pray. I believe in the power of prayer. I have a covenant of answered prayer with God. That's why I pleaded that we pray over this request. Because we desire that you never forget this conference. That you will remember that here at this women conference, this was where I submitted an impossible request. And the God of heaven arose and did mighty things for me provable manifestations of his presence i'm going to bow my knees to god here you may not kneel but just stretch your hands and let's agree let's call upon the god who answers prayers i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood I plead the blood, the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Eternal saving blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, 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 I plead the I don't have to cry, I don't have to cry, 
there is an advocate you Jesus the righteous the listen to me it does not matter what the cause you see they came to Jesus and they say who seen that this man was born blind was it his father or him and he said neither but that the glory of the Lord be revealed we come by the blood over this request father in the name of Jesus here at the King's Court here at this women conference this is a representation of the tears of many the pain of many the shame of many the disappointments of many the expectations of many the long-standing issues of many father for some people this are death sentences for some people these are issues of grievances for some people these are long awaited expectations but in the name of Jesus God you who answers by fire arise almighty oh one breathe upon this request turn them into testimonies in the name of Jesus 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 every spirit responsible for the issues represented here by the blood of the eternal covenant we decree and declare let it give way now hear me any human agent in fraternity with spirit and are responsible for the pain written here by the God of heaven we declare vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment Luke 18 it was a widow who came and said avenge me my adversary and for a while that man will not avenge her but for her importunity Lord I bow my knees alongside our mothers the women of excellence that you have so ordained and we cry on behalf of every request here turn it into testimonies some of the requests here are here because you refuse to hear God God spoke and you did not listen we plead the blood and we declare mercy some of the requests here are here because of mistakes that people have made in the name of Jesus we plead the blood some of the requests are here because of the manipulations of men and spirits in the name of Jesus Christ we declare liberty forever father every one here who has written a request that has been appointed to death untimely death we bow our knees to you and in the name of Jesus we close the mouth of the grave please say amen we close the mouth of the grave hallelujah there are spirits that refuse to allow resources enter the hands of people. They work diligently, they give their best, but rewards do not come. We call upon the God of heaven who is a rewarder of men. In this season, may the dew of heaven be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the dew of heaven be open for you. For some of you, the request you have written here is not even for yourself, it's for your children. The devil wants to wage war and scatter your family. But in the name that is above all names, God who is also the keeper of Israel, may he be the keeper of your home. In John 17, Jesus prayed and said, All that you have given me, I have kept and none is lost. Except the son of perdition and that, that scripture may be fulfilled. Everything and everyone God has given you, I declare they are kept. In the name of Jesus. 
And I pray for the women in this church and by extension, every woman who is watching from around the world, women are gates in the realm of the spirit. We decree and declare the voice of women will not be silenced. In the name of Jesus, particularly the women in this church, we stand to announce to you by the spirit foundations of sapphire in the name of Jesus step into seasons of favor step into seasons of lifting 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 that when men say there is a casting down for you let it be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ therefore we declare the fire of God falls upon this request they are turned into testimonies marvelous testimonies marvelous testimonies marvelous testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ it says weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David let me speak to you whatever has brought tears in your eyes I know that in the last one year it's been a challenging period but in the name that is above all names I decree and declare your season of crying comes to an end your season of crying comes to an end your season of crying comes to an end the Bible says do weeping and just for a night he says joy comes with the morning we declare that the dawn of a new day happens for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone connected to you who is not here because you are here in the name of Jesus we send angels to homes we send angels to continents where your loved ones are represented and we declare that the same grace and the same testimony here may it rest upon them for good in the name of Jesus two more prayers and we're done let me pray for your spiritual life no matter what you have if you lose the presence of God you lost everything there are people here your prayer life has gone down in truth your word study life your passion for God it didn't used to be like this you used to have a hunger as an individual as homes as families don't feel guilty the hair of Samson can grow back we decree and declare in the name of Jesus every altar that has been void of genuine fire the fire of his presence let there be a resurrection now let there be a reignition now. Let there be a reactivation now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray. Let sons and daughters rise from the king's court. Noble men and women. Kings and queens. In music, in business, in ministry, in politics, in corporate life. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach remains far from this church. Shame and reproach remains far from our mothers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let me encourage you, as you return back home, please take the time to just celebrate God. Ideally, after prayer like this, you wash it down with the sacrifice of praise that's how you seal things and thanksgiving he says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request known so Lord we thank you in the name that is above all names and let me sincerely celebrate and thank and honor and truly appreciate the executives of the foundation of Sapphire and Pastor Bensa and the entire King's Court thank you for the love it's always an honor every time the Lord grants an opportunity to serve Jesus in this capacity it's been a brief time but I believe a fruitful one together we go from glory to glory from grace to grace oh by the way allow me to steal one minute and we speak peace over Nigeria how could we end without this? 
in the name of Jesus the voice of violence the voice of wickedness from state to state and region to region we stand as the body of Christ the women stand as wailing women the ones who stand upon the walls and we decree and declare Nigeria God's Jerusalem Shalom to you Shalom to our children Shalom to our institutions Shalom in government Shalom in churches Shalom in our marketplaces the sounds of war the sounds of languishing the sounds of death the sounds of evil in the name of Jesus will be far from our territory in the name of Jesus Christ the truth is that this nation needs help Lord help us we can't pretend to have all the answers the days of arrogance is over it is clear that we need help help that only God can provide and so we call upon the helper of men this is not the first time he is a master over darkness Lord I stand in faith and we cry over Nigeria we extend it to Africa and even the globe let there be peace for your name's sake in the name of Jesus God bless you and thank you dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.